Hi everyone, how are you all? This is Coins Good. Hope you had a good Monday, hope you have a good Tuesday, and I uh, hope you have a really good week moving forward. Thank you for your continued support, okay? And also, if you're not a member of the Patreon, do head over today and get involved. And, and once again, thank you for the nice comments in the Patreon. So right now, just diving into XRP, you can see that it's basically annoying the hell out of everyone, isn't it? It's sort of hitting its head, hitting its ass, and it's just going sideways. <laughs> this is consolidation. This is like just making its mind up. You, you can see it's gearing up for something, isn't it? Whether it's moved to the downside, or move to the upside something's definitely bubbling with xrp uh so watch this space you know we could have a breakout quite imminent the last time we seen a project that went like this it sort of made a top and consolidated and went sideways and didn't know what it wanted to do sort of got really really boring was uh, uh cardano i went through 10 weeks of consolidation where it was making like high lows and then made a couple of highs and it was just honestly it was i think we we went for a week of about four weeks where it just sort of went up like one cent two cent down one cent up it was extremely frustrating and at that point i remember loads of comments this is shit coin i've sold my ADA and all that and then obviously you can see what's happened to cardano it's, it's absolutely bolted from when it was consolidating in that range so right now uh, xrp is consolidating basically it's in a range it's caught in a range at the moment and providing it can hold then you know you potentially we may not see them dips but if it do come wow what an opportunity to get involved in xrp because i do think that that would be the last dip in the, in the bull run i think that, that 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 sort of end that last one that one last dip before we absolutely march on to these extensions up here the 1272 at eight dollars 37 the 1414 at 13 and obviously the over extension there the 1618 26 97 roughly around 27 dollars and th this is the thing no one's got a crystal ball no one knows anything this is just charting okay it's technical analysis and it doesn't it's not a predetermined path but you look at certain projects uh ethereum uh bitcoin is one of those that's actually got to all of those extensions okay and some and uh, there's various different projects as well that have started their bull run uh, earlier now you know everything going around xrp at the moment with the case and everything like that there is one little bit of news which is actually quite positive i'm going to show you that bit of news right now okay for xrp that i've noticed i will try and start and add little news segments into these videos for you to keep you completely updated in the loop with xrp okay so basically uh, XRP wallet moves 93 million worth of cryptocurrency so the XRP whale address transferred approximately 62 million coins to an unknown wallet. So XRP whales have accelerated the movement of the world's seventh most valuable cryptocurrency after a price jump of nearly 12% in the last 24 hours. A large XRP wallet has transferred 93 million dollars worth of digital currency to an unknown wallet today. What's going on? accumulation according to the latest data published by whale alert a blockchain tracking and crypto analytics platform xrp address moved 61.99 million coins to an unknown wallet on may the 18th uh, which was obviously this morning the the latest movement came after a crypto wallet executed a transaction of 25 million <laughs> wow uh, dollars worth of XRP over uh, 25 million XRP worth over 38 million uh, from cryptocurrency exchange Bittrex to a digital wallet on May the 17th. So that's amazing. Growing popularity of XRP. Earlier this month, Ripple, a San Francisco based blockchain company, released its quarterly markets report and highlighted a surge in XRP sales during the first three months of 2021. So it's a huge amount of accumulation. The cryptocurrency is also getting popular among institutional investors as XRP investors investment products attracted 33 million worth of institutional inflows during the second week of April 2021. In March this year, Ripple published a white paper on the central bank digital currencies CBDCs and termed XRP as a bridge currency for CBDCs. The company announced to support central banks through a private version of XRPL. During a recent interview with Reuters, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse said that Ripple is growing in Asia and the company's Asia business has not experienced any negative impact of a SEC lawsuit. XRP now attracts nearly 2.5% of a total market cap of a cryptocurrency market. So is it gearing up? You know, when you when you look at the, that, that $27 price prediction from CoinsKid, institutional inflows, a wall of money, is that where it's going to get to? Who knows? It would be nice, wouldn't it? So that's why you've got to sort of sit on your hands a little bit, I suppose. But honestly, if we get that dip, if it comes, that'll be absolutely amazing for everyone involved. And uh, what an opportunity to get involved, because I do I do predict that that is the last dip. And obviously, you're fully aware of what we've got going on with Bitcoin right now. And if it does shit the bed, 
then obviously aware that but to be fair you know xrp has been holding relatively well even though the crypto market took a tanking over the past couple of days xrp has just sort of gone stagnant and sat sideways it actually pumped a little bit around about 16 percent, and it's just sitting there at the moment it's like it's gearing up but like i say to you you've got this key level of resistance on the weekly if we can break above this and back test it as support we're off to the races so if you start to see xrp march on and break above one dollar 61 then you could potentially be looking at a fantastic couple of months uh, for xrp you know whilst whilst bitcoin sort of does what it wants to do consolidates goes sideways or whatever it needs to do to to sort of rest for the for its next leg up basically let xrp and and, and the rest just have their little runs so watch this space yeah so we're just looking at xrp on the one hourly time frame right here then you can see that this particular level right here was acting as a really tough level of resistance okay this one dollar 54 and right now you can see that xrp is actually breaking out of it now there is a little breakout target obviously if we can break this key level of resistance right there you're looking at that lovely upside of this inverse head and shoulders here you see this left shoulder the head and the right shoulder effectively and the level of resistance which you're now breaking so hopefully if we don't get this type of pattern right here for xrp where we've got the throwback basically rolled over if we can continue to pump now you're looking at a lovely little upside xrp of around one dollar eighty eighty three so this is where you could see xrp actually melt melt faces okay effectively would be nice okay you'd get the bull run started for xrp which would be absolutely amazing and obviously at that level there if you was to break 183 you would be breaking this key level of resistance right well uh, as well which is the b high do you see this so this abc correction right here that we've got on the cards for xrp if you can break that particular level of uh, resistance you would be invalidating this b wave and this deeper c wave effectively and this is basically the c wave okay so that would be nice but obviously i think what would be equally nice for everyone involved if we did get one last dip down here that would be amazing for xrp and uh, obviously you've got to you've got to be aware of resistance moving forward for xrp right now you can see i'll show you this little pattern right here do you see this is called a w bottom i'll always show you everything so zoom in on the hourly time frame you do start to see more patterns you've got this sort of reversal pattern on the go just there do you see that and uh, when you broke that level of resistance which was just there this was a tradable event uh, you broke this key level of resistance right there you had a nice little upside for for xrp um, roughly something like that you see that from there to there and you can see boom you went up and met our target which is great so that was a little trade right there uh, so remember that w bottoms are everywhere look this is one here as well do you see this you've got this level of resistance right there this bottom there, and once you broke it what did you do you pumped up i'll show you quickly uh, you can see that from there to there and you broke that level of resistance once you broke it you pumped what well, i don't you don't even see that because you, you see that you did pump okay uh, and obviously you, you carried out that particular level of resistance right there and broke through so right now you can see that you was consistently hitting your head on this level of resistance right here now you've got level resistance above you as well you've got this high here at one dollar 61 which you know we need to see the close above on the weekly to, for continuation so it's a key level of resistance and you can see that xrp ran into it effectively now if you if you keep hitting your head on that and fail to close then you are obviously going to come back down there is also another little pattern here and i'll always show you everything okay you've got some kind of um ascending triangle on the go here where you've come into it like this so you've come up you hit resistance support resistance support like this do you see this and what you've done you've come closer and closer to the apex before you've actually got a breakout now you do have a breakout target of that as well which is roughly something like that and this is where you could see a bit of continuation for xrp if it carries out this particular extension right there this target then you're going to take out the 161 and you're going to be looking at least a 163 xrp token so right from here right now you could see that xrp could pump a further four percent and then obviously if it does continue that then you've got that upside there as well which is the target out of the inverse head and shoulders which is an extra 17 percent from this point so do keep an eye on that if xrp can fails to break that 161 because people can't see that that's a key level of resistance right there and you can see this is the high boom it said see you later now you could experience the same thing for xrp i'm not saying you will but i'm always going to show you the levels of resistance this is what i do for you okay so if you do start to see xrp close above 161 we're looking really good and i will keep saying that i will keep saying reminding you 161 is a really key level okay you've got the 0702 as well on the fib which i'll show you which is this particular level here which is like 154 155 round about this area right here because obviously if xrp does go on from here you've got some lovely lovely up upside based off fibs okay so i'll show you that target right now i'll jump onto the four hourly time frame so i can explain it better because the candles are a little bit squashed on the on the hourly right there so 
what you want to do is zoom out as much as you can so I'll show you right now what you're looking at for XRP if it can continue to go on now and not hit resistance and fall back then potentially this is where you could see that extra upside for XRP so so yeah if you look at this the 0702 is a key level of resistance which XRP has been coming up against okay and also obviously that it's that resistance line of the inverse head and shoulders which shown you and it's multi weak uh, support there and resistance resistance support support do you see that so the 154 155 has been of really really keen interest to XRP this is why you also need to see it break that because you can see it's looking relatively healthy okay and you, you are you've got all sorts of patterns in patterns right now do you see this because if you do break down you still if as long as you support this support line what I'm going to do quickly show you that you, you, you're upside to XRP. If you can break these levels of resistance, you're looking at the 1414 extension, which is $2.72. And then obviously the 1618 extension, where you just get out of here, you could be looking at that price appreciation up there for XRP around about $3.25. And obviously you've got the 1272 as well, which is this extension right here. You could be looking at a $2.45 token for, for XRP roughly. But you've got to get out of it and you, you basically you've got to break this high you've got to break that high there and you've got to break that high okay to invalidate this deeper c wave pullback that xrp could still potentially go through if it starts to roll and fall out of this pattern here and this level of support that it's got going on for itself this is where you could see xrp actually come down to the c wave nothing is out that nothing is off the table yet the, the way to invalidate that obviously is break this b high which is at 175 and then break the local high which is at one six uh, one nine six sorry so we do need to see that, but I want to reassure you XRP is looking relatively healthy and relatively strong. You've got the, the Bitcoin correction yesterday over the past couple of days to be fair, and XRP has just sort of held its own, hasn't it? And it's it's just standing there, it's waiting. It's like it's waiting for the SEC or something, some, some kind of news to come out or something, isn't it? So it's waiting basically, it's gearing up. But like I said to you, if you do start to roll back into this pattern right now, because you can see you're broken out of this ascending triangle, do you see that? Okay, if you do start to roll out, it's still not a bad thing because as long as you do a dare to this particular support line, you're still in an uptrend like this, like this. And all you're doing is come back into the apex of this sort of ascending triangle, which I've just shown you is a bullish continuation pattern right there. So it's it's all good if you do start to see it roll, as long as it doesn't lose this support line, this trend line, because you can see this is multi-week support right here from where it formed the bottom. Do you see that? Got the bottom, hit a high support, a bit of resistance support a bit of resistance potentially if you do roll back you know it's not necessarily a bad thing as long as you hold this support line it's once you start losing this support line like this that's your that's your indicator that you know you could be looking at that c wave okay but so far so good xrp is looking relatively good for continuation um but obviously you're hitting a level of resistance to 161 which i've shown you you need to see the close above that on the weekly um so it's important it's it's crucial times effectively for xrp um who said crypto is boring OK, so zoom in on the hourly. If it does continue to keep up, then obviously you want to see the break of 161. Then you're looking at a nice little upside to 163. And hopefully if it doesn't get rejected there, which is, you know, a bit of level of resistance as well, then you could potentially see XRP pump to $1.83. But at the minute it's sort of stuck, isn't it? It's, it's crabbing effectively. It's stuck in between a rock and a hard place. Uh, and it, you know, it just it's a bit frustrating for people. They think it's off to the races, and then it pulls back, and then it dumps a bit. And what's it actually doing? But that's why you've got these key levels of support in there. And I can't give you the key levels of support because obviously, over time, I could say to you, if if XRP loses one dollar thirty seven, it's out the race. Do you know what I mean? This changes. This is why you have to come to your charts and draw your trend lines because what you could actually see for XRP is just something like this. Okay. It comes back down does this as it gets close to this apex just here this is where you're going to have the decision whether or not xrp is going to go up break all these levels and these highs that it's got going on for itself or is it going to actually roll and go for that deeper c wave correction right there okay so important times stay strong stay healthy stay tuned and i'll be back tomorrow with a xrp update take care everyone bye bye